Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 17 in the playlist. And in this video, we're gonna be setting up a home folder in Windows Server 2022. So these are the things we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna go ahead and create a share on the domain controller called home folder. So this is where everything is gonna be going. We're gonna go ahead and change some of the NTFS permissions to reflect the share permissions, uh, the share folder that we're gonna be setting up. We're gonna go ahead and log into our Windows 11 machine to make sure all of the configuration that we did is working properly. And then once it's tested, we should be done. So there's, there's more steps in this when we actually go through it, and that's what we're gonna be going right now. Let's jump on to our domain controller and open that bad boy up. Okay, so right here, this is my domain controller, and let's go first to our file explorer. Let's open up C drive. So we don't have anything with home folder, so let's go ahead and create a folder called home folder. Okay, so in this home folder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna share this out, but what we're gonna do is, do, let's do that in server manager. I wanna do a few things. Let's go ahead and go to uh, shares. These are our shares at the moment. So let's go ahead and do task, new share. We're gonna do quick like we have been doing in the beginning of the series, okay? The, the share location is gonna be a specific path. So let's browse to the folder we just created, which is home folder, okay? So let's go ahead and hit next. So this is gonna be the share name. If you wanna hide the share, you can actually do a dollar sign. But in this case, we're not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and copy this and just throw this somewhere that we can Use this later. Okay, so we're gonna use that later in a second. So let's go ahead and hit next here. We're gonna go ahead and enable access based enumeration. That's super important for this. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do some of the NTFS permissions. We're gonna go ahead and customize these permissions. And this is where you guys should pay attention because this is super critical. So we're gonna go ahead and disable inheritance. We can convert the permissions. Yep. Fine. And then we can get rid of these users because we don't want them to have any access. We should only have these three types right here. Uh, we have system, we have administrator, and then we have creator owner. Creator owner obviously is whoever creates a folder in that, which we're gonna have the HR users uh, access that. So let's go quickly, let's go to Active Directory really, really quick. Should have jumped here first, but no sweat. We'll look at this now. And let's go ahead. I know we like to pick on HR. Uh, it's just the easiest. So let's go ahead and we have Beth, Tim, and, and Val. Once we go in here, we can see that they're members. That's perfectly fine. Perfect. So in my Windows 11 machine, I'm already logged in as Val, so we should be good here. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and add. And we're gonna add a principal, select the principal, and then we're gonna do HR. Check name. HR team, that's perfectly fine for us. And we're gonna go ahead and allow the type, and then we're gonna do this, this folder only, okay? So there's gonna be some of the permissions that we're gonna be modifying, at least in my, in my case. You can just test it however you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove a few of these. Let's go ahead. So I wanna do data traversal. You know, I wanna do list, folder, and create folder. So this means I can just go ahead and create, Everything else, and I want to go ahead and remove read permissions. Everything else, they're going to be denied. Okay, so this should be fine for me. Actually, I want to go ahead and create files as well, mine as well. So let's go ahead and hit OK here, apply. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and hit next here, and this looks all good for me. Let's go ahead and create. This is complete, perfect. So now we are good here. So now let's go ahead and just make sure. Go back into our our uh, our C drive. Sorry. Go ahead and right click. Go to permissions. We can go to sharing. We can see that it's shared. We can go to permissions. We can see HR team is here. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and 
create the home drive. Let's go back to Active Directory, sorry. So we have these three users. We can right click if you're doing one user, we can go to properties, we can go to profile, home drive, and then we can connect to the, to the location. Now, actually, we're gonna do something here that will make it a little easier. We can do user, username. And then what I wanna do here is I wanna copy this. Go ahead and copy this, all right? And then instead of doing one by one, I wanna do all three of these at once. So let's go ahead and right click, go to properties, go to profile. We're gonna to go to select home file, a home folder. We're gonna connect, we can do V for Val or E for echo, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and throw this in here. We're gonna apply, okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open this up. We should be good, Tim, perfect. Now if we go back to our folder, we should have three, boom, automatic. So if we right click on Val for an example, go to the permissions, we can only see Val, she has full permissions, right? She, um, Tim or Beth don't have access to, they don't have access to Val's, Val's uh, folder. Right, this is how the proper NTFS permissions is configured. Like in the real world, you know, this is how you can go ahead and test and check your NTFS permissions, right? So let's go ahead and go to our Windows 11 machine just to make sure this is all good to go. We may have to log out, but we may not have to. Let's check. Refresh this. We may have to log out and log in. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and log out. Sign out. And let's go log back. Log back in as Val. And we'll see if the moment of truth. This is for if you watched the last video when I was doing the app blocker, it finally took effect. So Internet Explorer is, is blocked now. I don't know why it took so long, but that's why I did it on the domain controller to demonstrate that. All right, so let's just go up to File Explorer. Let's go to this computer. And here we go, we see Val. Okay, so now we can come in here. Go ahead and check it out. Let's do new folder, Val testing. Okay, now let's go in here and we can create a new file. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is weird. Uh, let's see. Your system has blocked this pro. Oh, I know why. I know. I know why. So let's uh, let's go ahead and disable that. Um, so I'm guessing it's using Explorer. So let's just see something really quick. Let's. This is what you have to love about group policies. I meant to remove that policy. Let's go back to HR. This loads up. Group policy and app locker. I want to go ahead and just delete this. Okay. I don't have that anywhere. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and reboot that machine one more time. I believe that's the uh, that's the policy that it was, was talking about. I think so, because uh, that's the only change that I made and, and everything else should be good because, but let's go double check the permissions. While that's rebooting, let's go ahead and double check everything here. Make sure the NCFS permissions is good. Let's go to properties, security, advance. Special, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and double click on this. Create. Uh, do, 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 do. Create files, yeah. Oh, this file, this folder only. So I think, I see. All right, so let's do, 
let's just do this folder, subfolder and files. Maybe that as well. This is what's cool about testing this stuff. So let's go ahead and go ahead and log back into our Windows 11 and test our theory. And it's crazy. I've been doing NTFS permissions for many, many years. And sometimes in the real world, you know, like when I'm tinkering with something for, for users, groups or whatever, sometimes I still make the mistake, you know, and it's just differentiating and configuring share permissions versus share permissions versus NTFS permissions and whatnot. So, all right, let's go back here. Go to Val. Let's see if we can open it now. System and block this. Contact your. See if we can make a file in here. Thanks. Your system image has blocked this program. This is strange. Let's just. This is. That. I'm going to try to reboot one more time. Because sometimes, obviously, in the VM world, in this testing environment, sometimes things take a little longer. But let's go ahead and just. What I want to do, I want to go ahead and go in here. So I can open it here because I'm an admin, right? So if we open this and say thanks, we should have the permission. And we are in Val's. Let's go back. We're logging in as Val. So Val should have permissions to her own stuff. Give this another shot. I want to make sure I saved it. Back really quick. Go ahead and home folder. Permissions. Mouse permissions. This folder. Okay. Okay, so this is this all looks good. This all looks good. So so far so good. Let's go back and see. There. There we go. Okay, cool. So that was it. I just had a reboot. It just took a second. So that's how. Let's go ahead and sum up. Summarize what we just learned. Go ahead and uh, click this. So in this video, what we did, obviously, it took a few times. And if you have the same problem in your lab or however, just give it a few moments to, to take effect. So we created a share on a DC called Home Folder. We shared it out. We did all the share permissions, NTFS permissions for HR. Val went in and I logged in, created some folders and files to make sure you know everything is working correctly, all permissions are working correctly. And then we tested it and then we finalized the test and we are all good. So that pretty much concludes this video. Until next time, have a good one. And please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And if you have any problems doing it, just leave a comment in the, in, in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for viewing and have a good one.